Hi, my YouTube goddesses. I am back to do another hair review for you. And this hair, again, is from Amazon. And why? Because they have everything, okay? And the prices are way too affordable, okay? So the hair that I want to uh, show you today is from a company called Alley Beauty, A-L-I-B-E-A-U-T-Y. And their shop is on Amazon. I'm going to leave down below all the information on this hair as well as my uh, phone number and email in case I forget anything um, and you have a question, please reach out to me. Don't be afraid, okay, my queens? <laughs> so the hair that I wanna show you today is their um, Brazilian Water Wave. The wig is in the length 24 inch. I have it with natural hairline, pre-plucked baby hair. The color is uh, natural black, which is 1B for all the ladies who always ask me. Natural black is 1B. You get a 13 by 4 parting space. The actual lace color is medium. The cap size is 22.5 in circumference. And um, that is under a medium size, I believe. And uh, the hair texture, again, is water wave. Uh, let's see, the density, which is very important. <laughs> I have it in the density of um, 150. And this is actually a human hair water wave wig. And... Um, it does say that this is shedding free, tangle free. It is actually half hand tied and half machine made. And it does say that you can dye and bleach the knots on this hair. So let, let me actually show you their company. So this is how the actual hair came. I don't want to turn this upside down. Okay, this is what it looks like when I actually open the box. All right, so you do get their actual thank you card for purchasing on the back of it gives you um some other social media um areas that you can actually find them their whatsapp their email their phone number you do get your um pamphlet and it's um four pages so you ladies please pay attention because on the inside it gives you the instructions what to do and what not to do with your wig and they also send you a pack of two stocking caps and you get these beautiful lashes that comes in a beautiful container. And then this is your hair. So this is the 24 inch and I cannot wait to open this up. So keep watching. All right, my beautiful queen. So this is the unit right here. And the hair is super, super soft and super, super long. This hair is so long. And as far as shedding, um, I did give it a good shake and then I started pulling on the unit before I actually um, showed it to you. So let me show you the hairs that came out before I um, go ahead and remove the lace. So this is all the hair that came out once I was pulling on the actual unit. Now let me show you the wig. So in the back of the wig, you are so again in the back of the unit you actually get lace that you have to remove you do get one comb in the back you get your adjustable straps in the front of the unit you are going to receive three combs there's going to be two on the side of the wig and then you get one directly in the top portion and this is the parting space which is your 13 by 4 so you do get sufficient parting space so let me flip this inside out so this is the actual hairline and it does say that this wig is um, pre-plucked and ready to go straight out of the package. And we will find out if that's true. <laughs> so if you are um, interested in the one that I'm wearing, again, I will leave everything down below for this hair, the original review that I did. I know it looks like a big um, afro right now, but <laughs> I can always style it better. But anyways... Let me go ahead and remove the lace on this unit and I will try it on for you. <laughs> so I never actually glue this entire unit down because it is a 360. I just pretty much glue just the front of the wig and then I pull some of my hair out on the sides. And yeah, I did not put any powder in the actual um, front of the wig. So all I use is some alcohol on a little cotton and I just rub on the unit to loosen the actual glue and the glue that i use um i used to use the lace mate but i use that on special occasions you know if you want it to last for a long time but now i just added some of the um got to be glued spray and it just 
pretty much lifts it right up. I have no shame. Just going to take it off on camera. So yeah, that's how I wear my wigs. And I never put a stocking cap on. Why? Because I'm in Florida and it gets hot. Okay. And I do not want to ignite while I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> so someone had asked me when I removed the lace because it doesn't really show when they watch my videos so everyone knows who's been with me for a long time I hate cutting the lace off the unit okay it's not one of my faves but pretty much what you want to do is you want to cut as close as you can to the actual hairline so I'm just going to do a little part of it and I'll show it to you you don't want to cut into the hair so this is how I cut the actual lace I'm trying to make sure you can see it so this is where the actual hair is right now and you just pretty much want to trim as close as possible without cutting into the hairline but if you do sometimes people make mistakes it's okay don't panic all right so just trim alongside so let me get back to this. Maybe I'll finish tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish cutting the lace tomorrow. Okay, so the lace is off. This is where my straps are. So let me go ahead and try this on. Okay, so I had to go back and readjust my straps because this wig is so roomy like this is not a medium uh, cap I think this is probably a large so there is a lot of room underneath this wig this is the actual front of the wig so yes you might want to go in again and do a little bit more pluck in these baby hairs are super long and those need to be trimmed as well well let me give you a 360 on this hair again the density is 150 so this is the hair on the right side this is the hair on the left side this is all the hair to the back now my height is 511 for my Queens who wants to know and I'm gonna adjust this camera so you can actually see the length but let me pull all the hair to the front So, yeah, let me go ahead and adjust the camera and I'm going to lift the back of this up and show it to you. Let me just make sure all the hair is pushed under. But yeah, this has a lot of room. So, yeah, this is the back of the wig. And let me just adjust the camera. All right, so... This is where she hits me in the front. And let me turn around. And this is the hair in the back. Super, super flow. So yes, yeah, super, super lightweight. Look at this ladies. She just flows, flows, flows super super lightweight and these curls are just gorgeous all right <laughs> so you'll definitely need to glue this wig down in the front because this is the side of the wig and i normally just pull some of my hair out on the sides but yeah you're definitely gonna have to glue this Hairline's not too bad though. Here's the other side. Let me just push my hair underneath so you'll be able to see. So this is the sides. And of course, I'm gonna do some parting space for you. When I tell you this hair feels so good, So this is without me wearing any stocking cap underneath this wig and I did not put any powder underneath the wig. Let me part it here again. Okay. 
So that's the parting. And the track starts here. So I'm going to do a middle part for you. So this is the middle part. And again, your track starts back here. So that's all the parting space you'll get. And the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to glue this wig down and try to style it. So do not get up from your chairs. I'll be right back. All right, my queen, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the got to be glued spray to this wig. So I'm just going to let this sit for about a minute. I have no idea where my hair dryer is. So I kind of just let the glue sit a little bit and dry on its own. So it's actually getting tacky right now. But what I did, I just kind of brush the baby hairs towards the back. So this is it up close. And that's just with the got to be glue spray. Do not look at my big forehead. <laughs> so yeah, it's just drying right now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a little parting space. So I'm gonna do a right side parting space actually. And I'm not even going to go all the way to the back. I'm just going to do like a, about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half. And then I'll add a little powder in here. Parting space. All right, my queen. So this is the right side parting space. Now, I did not glue this wig all the way around. I kind of pulled some of my hair out on the sides because I really hate gluing the hair down all the way around. And I pulled, um, like I said, some of my hair out and I added a little powder. And what I did in the front, I just brushed the um, baby hairs towards the back. So this is what I came up with. I am really loving this wig. Um, this is um, like a actual replica of a synthetic unit that I did the other day and I said I was going to try and find a uh, unit that's 24 inches. The other unit that's synthetic was 26 inch and um, this one I'm not sure if it does come in a 26 but I will definitely check but I went ahead and got the 24 inch and I wanted to show this to you. So yes if I actually left anything out um, you can also email me shoot me a text message or just leave a comment down below. Um, again, you can choose your style the way you want to. You could do a middle part as well, or you can actually put the hair up. And also, I'm going to actually wet the hair just um, a little bit so you can see what it looks like when water is added to it. So do not get up. I'm not finished. <laughs> Don't get up. Okay, so I did went ahead and wet this hair just a little bit. So let me show you what it looks like. So these are the curls. This is just beautiful. You can actually wear it a little bit wet or dry to your liking. And let me go ahead and do a middle part for my middle part lovers. So I'm actually waiting on my hot comb to heat up so I can actually just flatten the actual hairs down because it's new so they kind of like they're raised at the um, root so I just want to lay them out just a little bit and then I'll add some powder so 
continue watching my queens <laughs> i got this hair is like so beautiful wet like i think i would prefer wearing it just a little wet versus dry she's gorgeous All right, so I kind of flattened the hair just a bit. So I have my parting space already created. I just need to add some powder to the wig. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm just going to take that all the way to the back. All right, ladies, so this is the middle part. This hair is so gorgeous you hear me look at this this is like some goddess here she is gorgeous and i'm gonna show you a little trick that i do with my wigs after i wash them i always lay them flat on a towel to dry and i'm gonna show you what i put in my wig to keep them smelling good and fresh because hey we don't want nobody talking about our hair smells okay <laughs> there's tons of these little sprays in walmart and there's like i think there's a passion fruit flavor this one is cotton candy because i like the way it smells and it's under five dollars lady so i be spraying my wigs okay they smell so good and i get compliments all the time because the worst thing you want to do is whip that hair back and forth <laughs> And somebody says, oh my God, it smells musty. No. So yeah, that's what I do. I, after I wash them and I let them dry, I just spray them up. And I do spray the inside of the cap as well. But yes, I wanted to show you this hair. And you can style the hair according to your liking. This hair, again, is from Alley Beauty on Amazon. I'm going to leave everything down below. And keep in mind that you can also put the hair up um, in a ponytail and just wear it to your liking. I kind of like my hair like this. I don't like to glue everything down because, you know, I'm not really going on a roller coaster ride or I'm not going on a um, hot date or something like that where you have to spend more time. Hot date meaning you're going to be dancing on the dance floor or whatever. I'm not going to do that. I just pretty much wear it like this. And this is short term for me. If I need to invest in styling this some more, I will do so. But again, I wanted to show you this hair. So definitely check them out. And I love the density on this. It's not too full and the hair is very lightweight. So if you haven't um, checked out Amazon's page, ladies, please get on Amazon. There's tons of hair, very inexpensive, and you won't be disappointed. I promise. <laughs> so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit that little gray box, subscribe, show me some love ladies. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Like and share this video so all the other wonderful, gorgeous beauties out there can try this hair and experience what I'm experiencing over here, okay? Do not forget to turn on your notification. And I just want to say to all my new subscribers, I do see when you subscribe, you know, I get an email. <laughs> I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much. And to all my subbies, I love you ladies. Please keep watching. Do not forget again to turn on your notification so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. So in these times that we're going through, I just want you ladies to keep it together because women are strong, okay? And um, just take care of yourself and your family. Until my next review, I love you, Poetic Angel. One love. Mwah. <laughs>